Hello friends, Jackie Ball Heist from Klomp and Stampers. Can you believe we are almost to the end of the 2019 slash 2020 Stampin' Up! annual catalog? Where is this year gone? So quite a few of my next videos over the next month, I'm going back and bringing back some of my older stamp sets that I haven't touched in a while. You know, it seems like I get new stuff, I share lots of ideas, and then they go on the shelf back there. And I know when the new catalog comes out soon, I'm gonna refill my shelf with new stuff and I won't go back to these old ones again. So you're gonna see a lot of oldies, but goodies from me over the next few weeks. Um, I also, in the blog post, like the blog post that goes with today's video, I will also show pictures of some of the other cards that I have already shared with these particular stamp sets. You know, I'm all about when you buy a stamp set, you should get lots Lots and lots of ideas to to do with it. We don't want you buying a stamp set, making one card, and being done. So make sure you follow the link that's down in the description of the video to the blog post. It will show you pictures of what I'm making today, along with the recipe, all the cutting directions, and all the supplies I use, as well as pictures of some other projects and maybe some other videos that I've shared in the past. So without further ado, I wanna flip this camera down and I wanna share with you today's project. It's actually a gift card holder. I'm kind of entering into what I call birthday season for my family. It's like all my kids' birthdays are in a matter of three months or less time frame. So this year, they're all getting gift cards. So I thought I'd just make personalized gift card holders for each of them. So that's what I got to share with you today. Let's go ahead, flip the camera down. Let's get stamping. So the stamp set that I'm gonna to use today is Perennial Birthday. This has been kind of a mainstay for me, especially for quick and easy cards. And we're gonna make a gift card holder. Um, so I've got a bunch of pieces already mounted here for you, but we're gonna go ahead. This piece is three and three quarters by four, I believe. And then just kind of a reminder, I'll have all of those measurements along with the supplies that I used over on the website for you to make it super simple for you. And I'm gonna just keep stamping here as I'm talking. I'm just taking different parts and pieces. Notice that as I'm stamping, I'm spinning my cardstock around. That makes it a lot easier to do what I like to call random stamping because we don't want you know everything to be perfectly in a line, go in the same direction. But if you turn it, that really helps accomplish that quite easily. So there's our flowers, and then the stamp set also has this really nice little dots. So we're gonna throw in some dots here, not covering it completely. We don't want it to get too heavy looking, um, but we'll just throw a few Daffodil Delight dots in there. So that is part of it. And then we can go ahead and we're going to use Happy Birthday here from our stamp set. I like this nice, big, long, bold one. So we'll stamp that right there. I think this is sub, about seven eighths by three and three quarters. And then I have a piece of granny apple green that we'll add this to. Um, that's an inch wide and just the same length. So we'll just kind of press that on there. And then I have a piece of gorgeous grape here. Now this is four and a quarter by eight and a half. Scored it at five and a half and also at one and a half. So this folds up like so to make our nifty little gift card holder. Um, like I said, all my kids have birthdays coming up, so I am going to be making these. Same thing for all the kids, but we'll just personalize it with you know, their favorite colors or, or stamps that you know kind of represent them. So there's the front. Go ahead and we'll add some dimensionals onto our happy birthday here. Yeah. What I like about this is it's basically a full-size card, so it'll pop real easily into a regular envelope. We'll stick happy birthday on there like so. Now, to make it look pretty, we've got some designer series paper. This is the Melon Mambo from the color group there. And let's see, I think this is one and a quarter by four. So we'll put one on the inside there. And then this little flap that folds to the inside that will hold our gift card. Oh, we almost did that wrong. We gotta fold it first and then put it on there. So now make sure you stick with me because I'm gonna show you another version, one that I made for my son-in-law that uses a completely different stamp set. Now, before I glue this down, what I wanna do is just grab a circle punch. Anyone will work, but that just kind of finishes it off to make a little holder there with that little half circle. Now, it, 
I use my liquid adhesive for almost everything. You guys know that. But I really like it for stuff like this that you need to really make sure it holds good because we want to hold that gift card in there. And I just want to make sure it's good and dry um, for that. So there is that. Now, I don't like this solid here, so we do need to put some white on the inside. So why don't we do the um, here's to celebrating you stamp. And then we'll go ahead and we'll stick a couple of these little flowers in there as well so everything coordinates. I'll stamp the envelope also um, with some of the flowers on there. Let's see, might as well keep on going here and put the purple ones in as well. And I suppose we'll do the polka dots too. You know, this is one of those things you could just grab and stamp forever. So we'll go ahead and add that. And we'll put that on the inside. Super simple, guys, but I think it's adorable. I hope you think so also. Um, like I said, perennial birthday is one of those mainstays. Great, quick and easy flowers. Great greetings on it for birthday card. So there is that one. Now let me show you a couple other ones I made. So I decided to make a second one the same way for my other daughter. One of my daughters is a purple person and one's a pink person. So now I've got these ready to go, one for each, put a gift card in there. And then my one son-in-law, he loves to cook and grill and smoke. So this is a stamp set called Outdoor Barbecue that's in the Occasions catalog. And I thought this just made a super cute um, card for him. So there's our masculine one. So I love this pattern, this idea, because you really can use any colors and any stamps. It makes a great card and gift card holder all in one. So I hope you like this idea as well. Remember, hop on over to my website. If you'd like to order any Stampin' Up! products, what I used or anything else, you can do that over there. The link is down in the video description. Plus, I'll have all the measurements and the supplies, measurements for our designer series paper, as well as all the pieces and the cutting and scoring. So, as always, guys, I love to share quick and easy stamping ideas with you. And if you have any questions, I'd love to help you. So leave me a comment, send me a message. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear if you like my projects. Show me some love and don't forget to share my stamping videos with your crafty stamping friends. So until I stamp with you again real soon, have a stamp happy day.